Life jackets are available and unless you wear them, they're absolutely useless. Let's have a look at the way you correctly put one on. On this particular life jacket, as you can see at the front, there is a clasp. We can undo that clasp by pressing the red button in. The life jacket then goes on like a waistcoat. And clips together at the front. Snap shut. There's a big gap here between the life jacket and my chest. We need to create about a fist gap between my life jacket and my chest. To do that, we tighten on the strap. Just tidy the strap away. That there is about a fist distance between my chest and the life jacket. This is a crotch strap. The crotch strap goes between my legs and clips back up at the front of the jacket. This will stop the life jacket riding up over my head once it's inflated. I've got an old life jacket here that's out of service, so I can use it to show you what's inside the life jacket and what happens when one's inflated. This is an automatic life jacket. That means if I was to fall in the water, it would set itself off automatically once it got wet. However, I also have the option, as always, of using the pull cord like so. The Velcro. Okay, so there's my life jacket. Uninflated. It's very cold right now because it's just been filled with compressed CO2, and I can feel that coldness through through the jacket. So, what have we got? We have the bladder, obviously, that's now full of the CO2 that was in this bottle. We have a manual inflation top-up tube, and if the jacket needs topping up, if I'm in the water for a long time, I can blow into the tube, just like they show you on the aeroplanes if you've ever been on an aeroplane. There is a release valve in the top of the tube, and if I invert the lid of the tube and poke it in the top, I can release some of the CO2 out of the jacket. Here, this is a handle, so that we can hold on to each other when we're in the water, and that stops us drifting apart. And this is a standard issue uh, life jacket whistle. It's a ISO standard whistle, comes with most life jackets for attracting attention. That's that. Let's get that back on here, out of the way. The inflation mechanism, as you saw, I gave a sharp pull on the cord and that fired the pin into the bottle and the life jacket's inflated. As I said earlier, this is where the compressed CO2 is held. This here is an automatic firing mechanism on this jacket. Not all life jackets have them, some are manual pull only. You can tell, usually, um, because an automatic life jacket will have a red toggle and a manual only life jacket will have a yellow toggle. The way the automatic part works is if I was to fall in the water, there's a soluble element for want of a better word, in the middle there, holding back a powerful spring. That dissolves within a couple of seconds, allowing the spring to fire upwards and push the pin into the bottom of the bottle. And then the life jacket inflates just as you've just seen. Things life jackets have to have, uh, by ISO standards, they have to have reflective tape so that we can be spotted. They have to have a manual inflation top-up tube. They have to have a means of inflating whether that's manual or automatic. They also have to have a whistle. This one is not fitted with a crotch strap. They do not have to have a crotch strap. A crotch strap is a very sensible extra to stop the jacket riding up over your head uh, when you're in the sea, and that costs you about an extra six or seven pounds. Um, they also, said the whistle, said this, they don't have to have a light. Um, so if you're going out in the dark, it's very prudent to have a light fitted to your life jacket. A life jacket light will cost anywhere between 15 and 25 pounds from the local swindlers. I mean chandlers. There you go. I'll take this off and I will show you a bit more about, or closer, how this works. 
here I've unscrewed that automatic inflation mechanism. You can see on there that it comes with a replace by date. This one needed to be replaced by September 2019. Um, that doesn't mean it will go off and it won't work. Because it's a soluble product and we work in a damp environment, uh, it's likely that it'll work too well um, and go off when you least expect it. Anyway, it has a green base to it which means it still hasn't been used. If it was fired, the green base would fall off and often you're left with a red base underneath. If you look in there, have a good look, you can see the red plate is quite a long way down in the unit and the red plate is what's holding back the spring. So once this is fired, that red plate should be a lot further close to the mouth of the unit. I have here a little standard pot of water. <laughs> what I'm going to do is drop this in here and you can see how quickly this fires and will set off your life jacket. So have a good hold of this then. Ready? Pop! Everywhere. Okay, so as you can see the green base is no longer attached. Here is my green base and that's fired now. If I don't know if you can see that but the red plate is now further up inside the housing and that's really strong that spring I cannot push that back down there is no way that that is not going to push that pin into the bottle so there you go that's how those work